from all the issues with Dave Chappelle is what happened to most deaf when he started hanging out with the nigga. Hanging out with Dave Chappelle turned most deaf into a bottom. When did <laughs> when did most deaf go from being a hip hop lyricist to a power bottom? I'm watching the interview this nigga did last week when he was talking about Drake's lyrics. Have you seen this? Yeah. And it, it you saw uh, moistness, didn't you? It, and somebody sucked all the manhood through his ass. It, it, what happened to the old most deaf? If Chappelle don't give me answers, then I gotta agree with Corey. Man. Hey, let me tell you something, man. If you see a motherfucker with a movie campaign, they don't just give motherfuckers movie campaign. Right. And most deaf had a movie campaign. Right. He was in a lot of movies and he did good in the movie. Yeah. But the but. Swallow. <laughs> Most Def, he look like a, he act like a nigga that do do the butterfly for a living. Like he get money, like niggas throw money at him for doing the butterfly. You stupid, that nigga. nigga that, what what the happened to Most Def? I don't man? want people. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Recha Ha Kodash, and double honors to the elder apostles and bishops of Great Millstone. Salute and honors to you, other elders and brethren. Shalom to even to you, few sisters. Shalom to the elect. So, anyway, I'll try to make this lesson short, but edifying, you know, by the Lord's will. Now, this clip has been going around by most deaf um, wearing a dress. This is un not uncommon for us to see. Before I came into truth, I used to, you know, you dabble in all these things and find out certain things, and then you, the tubes start pulling a lot, a lot of the stuff down. But it seems like it's true with everything we've been learning. Most of these people that took that bag, right, that's what I noticed, that took the bag, has uh, actually most of these people who are, mainstream they on these uh, their movies they've all pretty much took the bag right so that's what i noticed they most they more likely 99 percent of them i believe has taken the bag has taken the payoff and you know it's trends that set the stage for these new philosophies or this new fashion i remember when i was coming up they had certain trends like not wearing your shoestrings or wearing your pants hanging down. Uh, I mean, that was later. Um, but still, they was they had certain trends, right? And everybody followed. So they're really trying to push this trend of the emasculation. Now, it's crazy because the women don't even, <clears throat> the women don't even wear dresses anymore. So, you know, that's kind of crazy. But it seems like it worked for the women already. Because if you look at any show or movie before the 70s, they all pretty much wore dresses. So now the liberated woman, she's not wearing a dress anymore. So everybody will look at the men and say, oh, this is sick or this is crazy. But when you really take a look at it, they got to the women first. The change 
the fashion to them and then they pushed it on the men. It worked for the women because it's still, you know, they was feel feminine or whatever the case is, but that's not what the scriptures say. But now they've pushed it on the men, right? And now the men, the, the, the trend has been set for men to wear this type of garment. Matthew 16 and 26. For what a man profiteth if, uh, if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Right? This is what it is. What shall a man give according to his soul? For the Son of Man shall come in his glory of his Father with his angels, and then he shall reward every man according to his works. So, the reward goes on both sides. Right? The elect will get the reward of righteousness in the kingdom, and the non-elect will get the reward of destruction. But you can clearly see that these, they don't know. The Lord, let's go to Romans 1, 26. Let's see what the scripture says there. For this cause, it says, God, Yahweh, gave them up until vile affections, right? For even their women did change the natural use of that which is against nature. And likewise, also the men leaving the natural use of the woman. Okay. So we can clear, clearly see this is all prophecy. What I also want to say is that this is uh, nothing new. You know, the power in those gods back then has the same power in these gods today. Because these are extra God, these are other gods that our people are worshiping, right? In order for our people to be selling out and going to those other gods, there had to be some form of power in it. And today's power is the money. Okay, if you want to call it that. But it's the riches. It was it's always been an issue. Let's go to um let me go to Deuteronomy twenty two and five. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth to a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Now you had some women, today's women, uh Israelite women even, I did a video on saying that um a woman's garment is pants. I don't know. So how do we know what the garment is? Because in the ancient customs, we know who wore what and what they were supposed to wear. And that was so it wouldn't bring confusion. It says, for all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy power. Okay? All they do so is an abomination. So the Lord despises this behavior but this is what it is and this is the trends and the thing about it they put money into it so we understand you can have the ugliest pair of shoes but if these shoes cost three hundred dollars or four hundred dollars then that shows a form of status fashion trend and everybody likes it so when they make these skirts for men at a high price and put value on it, because anything that's rare is valuable in abundance is not valuable. So this is how they do it. They, they make everything that's in abundance. I mean, everything that when it first come out is rare. So people want it like a pair of shoes, the new Jordans that came out or whatever, the new sweatpants that came out, right? The new car. You don't see a Bugatti on everybody's car lot. So as long as it's rare, it holds value. Okay? Kind of like diamonds, which is not really valuable. They just put value on them because they knew that, I can't say it on, on, on the video, but they knew the ones who owned it knew that there's certain type of women who loved it. Right? So now they have lab grown diamonds okay it ain't nothing but a, a a crushed rock so to speak but anyway as long as it's uh rare and it's and it has money on it, it becomes value and this is what they've done they're trying to make this valuable let's go to exodus exodus 34 and 12 take heed to thyself lest thou make a covenant with the inhabitants of the land whither thou goest lest it be for a snare in the midst of thee. 
but ye shall destroy their, their altars, break their images, and cut down their groves. It says, for thou shalt worship no other god, right? The reason why it says that, because our people would still worship the Most High, but they would bring other gods. It's kind of like if we're supposed to be wearing garments, you know, with the border of blue, they'll have the garments and they'll take off the border of blue and put a picture of Baal on the garment. Kind of like that, if you understand what I'm saying. That's what they, they were doing. That's what Solomon did to a degree when he went worship Astaroth when he got older. It says, for the Lord whose name is jealous is a jealous power. Lest thou make a covenant with the inhabitants of the land, all right, and they go a whoring after their gods, and do sacrifice unto their gods, and one call thee, thou eat of his sacrifice, and thou take of their daughters, and unto thy sons. This is why when they had those fashion shows, they want the next big talent. I mean, it's all coming out with Quincy Jones, and what he was doing. Cat Williams only exposing things that most people already knew, but it became more mainstream right and thou shalt take of their daughters unto it says and thou take of their daughters unto thy sons and their daughters go a whoring after their gods and make thy sons go a whoring after their gods so when we see this word um adultery it's not always a sexual act that's the real adultery comes in the mind and comes with doing it right also but really the worship of other gods before it becomes to the physical part so when they went and worshiped the other gods then when they bowed themselves down to and praised them then they did all the abominable sexual acts or sacrifices along with that right a lot of people think because you see adultery is just um, a woman cheating on her man, right? The adultery even comes when before that woman got to lay with that man when they went out to lunch, right? That's adultery right there. When he got the number and your wife accepted giving him the number, that's adultery, right? It's levels to adultery, adultery, okay? Thou shalt make thee no molten gods, and that's all this is doing. They're always, they're painting an image of other gods. Now, what's crazy, I think I said before, the women don't even wear dress dresses. And the men, they're promoting and pushing men wearing dresses, and the women don't even wear dresses nowadays. You can hardly see a woman wearing a dress unless she feels like she wants to wear a dress. So they've switched it, and they're making it, you know, for men to wear dresses. The best way to say it. But why would they do this? Now, I will say also, it's not the fact that white men, they don't do it with them either because Patrick Swayze and uh, I can't remember, uh, John Leguizano, Adam Sandler, a lot of them wore dresses too. But they do that in a matter of some form of comedy and it looks legitimate to the, the naked eye to the world. But when you go to Kevin Hart, when you go to Medea, Tyler Perry, when you go to uh, Big Mama, Martin Lawrence, it's buffoonery. It's all buffoonery, but they really pushing it on Jake, right? They know who we are, and that's why they're doing that, you know? They know who we are. So anyway, uh, I just saw that, and I said, I just want to do a quick video on that. It's it's wild and it's getting worse. I think I seen Omar Epps. He had a dress on. Shaquille O'Neal, Charles Barkley. Now they did it for so much so called fun, which is still wrong. But this man most deaf. I, I also think uh, LeBron James had one on. So now they're doing it for fashion, and they're really pushing it. We seen a guy come out of camp. A couple people come out of camp. These men wearing those dresses. Anyway, and, and, and really there's like skirts. Dresses is just fashion. That's all dress means is a form of fashion. But these are women's garments. That's all I have on that, Shalom.